My name is Devin Blue. I used to be a preacher, a man of God. Before that, I was a criminal, a man of the street, but now I'm a cop. I saw the light and it changed my life. Now I help people in need. I help the police. And in helping them, I use a special skill set given to me by the Holy Spirit to solve crimes of an unusual and unexplainable nature. But what people don't realize is that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. But we will all see a revelation, a revelation blue. We believe that all men are created equal, yet many are denied equal treatment. We believe that all men have certain unalienable rights, yet many Americans do not enjoy those rights. We believe that all men are entitled to blessings of liberty, yet millions are being deprived of those blessings, not because of their own failures, but because of the color of their skin. alone trying to do everything by yourself. Why do I need vengeance? Isn't that yours, saith you? I'm of the light. I seek justice and closure. I seek his punishment. And I seek understanding and clarity in what I'm about to do. 
But vengeance is yours, isn't it? like to be really messed up. I've been hurt. I've been lied to. I've been beat up and I've been cheated. What the heck are you? Take a closer look. I'm you. I recently lost a friend and I need to know why he was killed. Why are you coming to me? I don't know you. I don't know your friend. I've been living on the streets. That's true, but you know information. We have a mutual friend in custody. Somebody you know. Who? This name's not important right now. What's important is that you tell me who's responsible for the death of my friend and this conspiracy. I ain't telling you nothing. I don't know nothing. Yes, you do! You want to rot out here? You wanna starve? You like to sweat? How about the rats? You like the rats? Huh? You might not care about your own life, but I promise you, if you don't tell me exactly what I want to know, I will find everyone you've ever cared about, and I will bring them a roll of hurt. Do you understand me? You need to tell me who is responsible for this, and you need to tell me right now. Right now! You wanna know? You had to find something to wrap this in. Yo, know, this bat is cracking. Yo, know, there's a little book around the corner where we can go get a pint of the black stuff. We ain't got time for that right now. We need that. We need to get in touch with this bloke so we can get the details, man. I need to bite me head off. How long have you been waiting? 20 minutes. Oh, he's late. We'll be here, just be patient. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Just be patient. You're asking me to risk my life, to defend my country, but to lock up my friends and lie to my family. Yes. What about God? What about him?
You know, there's a law about loitering. Man, I probably broke a few of them already. Hey, give me a hug, man. <laughs> oh, man, it's been a long time, man. Yeah, it's been too long. I never would have expected to see you back here. Me neither. You know, I always seem to get drawn back to this place. That's because it's your father's house, Devin. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh boy, I heard something there. What is it? Yeah, it's something. What? It's just, I thought I was doing the right thing by leaving. Okay. I thought I knew a better way to help. I'm not sure anymore. Well, you know I was against you leaving in the first place. Man's world doesn't understand what you're trying to tell people. They just don't get it. I question it a lot myself, D. But you supposed to love God with all your heart. It's impossible. You can't do it. Really? Says who? You? May not agree with you on that one. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I left. To give the world a better understanding of God's love and a perspective on what I needed to tell them. Okay. That sounds real noble, God's love. Well, let me give you a real picture. The reality of it all is that people are rude, thick-headed, and selfish. No other way around it. I told you not to leave, and I don't get this cop thing. <laughs> you always said that. Fact is, you didn't speak to him. What? Yeah, bro, you stopped speaking to him. You turned your back because things didn't happen quick enough for you. Your congregation didn't grow fast enough, people didn't give enough, and you didn't get that big fancy church you always talked about. That's not why I left. Yes, it was. Pride took over. Pride drove you out. You ran, D. Ran away. Not to mention, you know, your parents, they didn't help much either. Leave them out of this. Why? That's part of the problem. This conversation is over. Oh, okay. Run it again, huh? You'll be doing this all the rest of your life, Dick. I looked up to you, Wayne. I loved you as a brother. You were the only one that I could talk to after it. No, forget it. Devin. No, 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 I had you all wrong. Devin, come back to the church. We need you. God needs you. What about what I need? What about that? Huh? What's God going to give me? That's been the problem all along. It's not about what you need. It's about what you can give. About what you can give to God. being in severe pain and these weird images were flashing through my head. Images? Like 
images. What kind of images? The kind of images I saw when I was a kid. When I went to church. I didn't want to go. But she took me anyway. I was afraid for some reason. I don't know why. I remember loud organ music playing and choir singing and large crucifix hanging everywhere. Those were the images that were flashing through my mind. And I was afraid. You feeling guilty about something? Guilty? You know, the body can hold on to things and manifest itself in strange ways, like through the head. So what, are you a psychiatrist? No, no. I've just seen it a lot when people are trying to do the right thing. Listen, I don't need you to tell me about my life. <laughs> really? Well, listen to me, because I need you to get honest with yourself and get it together, because I need you. You need me for what? Wait, wait. It's gonna be okay. I think it's time for you to leave. It's going to be okay. Why are you in this walker anyway? Nerve damage. I have to deal with all of it. Can I ask you a question? What? Just what is it that you really want? Hey, I was listening to the radio. Do you guys need any help? We're no, good, buddy. We're good. Stay back. We're what? good. We're good. I said I would help. Ah, shut up. Let me help you guys. Don't right. stop pushing me! You were trying to steal my firearm. I wasn't trying to steal your firearm. What am I going to do with that? I don't know. Maybe a crime? Crime? You have crime? You coming no crime? Oh. You're not a criminal? I can't tell. I'm not why? a criminal! Why were you trying to take it then? You're a liar. I am not a liar. And you cannot arrest me because I'm not a criminal. Oh yeah? Watch this. Get out of here. Sit. No big trouble back Shut there. Shut up. Have no, have no, no, no All trouble right, back hey, there. Hey, 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 stop it right now. You two, turn around. Hands on your head. On your knees. Is this a joke right now? All right, you two, what the heck is going on? Uh, Bucky, Bucky, is that you, man? Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Jeez. You know each other? Oh my goodness, this town gets stranger and stranger. Let me tell you. Hey, what is this reunion? I'm Detective Agent Jamie Boyd, and this guy was trying to steal my sidearm. I'm trying to steal nothing. Yes, you were. You are a criminal, a liar, and a bum. All right, relax, all right? Quiet lady. I'm not a lady. You got that right. All right, Bucky, you with me, man. All right, Missy, I guess you're with me. Come on. This bum looks suspicious, and he was trying to steal my sidearm. All right, listen, relax with the bum thing, all right? And what did he do exactly to make him look suspicious? And put your hands down. Come on, look at him. Yeah, so? That's called profiling. Where are you from? I'm not from around here, that's for sure. I'm on a special assignment. What is this, interrogation? You hear that, man? All right, man. So tell me, what's going on? What happened? I, I, I was walking down the street. I was minding my own business. And this weird white woman rolled oh, up uh, on okay, me. Okay, okay. Let's cut the weird white woman thing, okay? All right. My bad. This odd Caucasian woman rolled up on me and, 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 and started harassing me, man. Started harassing me, giving me a hard time. I ain't doing nothing, man. I'm just minding my business. Okay, then what? 
That's you start asking me all these questions about where I've been, where am I going? Start harassing me and stuff like that. She crazy, man. All right, I thought I had an attitude. Okay, this isn't an interrogation. We're just trying to get down to the bottom of this travesty. Well, honey, here's how you do that. You lock this guy up for attempted theft of a weapon. And for being ugly. All right, relax, okay? We're just trying to be civil here. I have a feeling you're a bit wound up. Okay, honey, I see this big black guy walking around the neighborhood with obviously nowhere to go. I go toward him and he gets nervous and he starts storming me with something in his hand. Did you see it? Did you see what was in his hand? Did you see it clearly? No, he was going for my gun, honey. Listen, it could have been anything then. It could have been cigarettes. It could have been playing cards. It could have been a cell phone. <laughs> and what is so special about your gun? It's German. All right, and what else happened? No way. That she kept harassing me, man. You know, you know, just how like Blue used to do? You remember that? Remember how Blue used to? That's exactly what she was doing. Getting all up in my personal space, asking me all these questions. Hey, listen, I don't want no trouble from nobody. I'm trying to get my life straight. I'm trying to do the right thing. I I'm going back to school. I'm taking law courses again. I don't need no trouble. I'm not looking for no trouble. All right, but Bucky, why did you try to steal a firearm? I didn't try to steal her firearm. What do I look like doing something like that? Come on, honey. Sigs and cars. What are we doing? Hanging around the schoolyard? All right, you it's call me nervous, honey one way. more time. I am shipping you back to wherever you're from. You understand me? Me, personally, I'm going to do that, okay? What do I need a gun for? So, what do you think she is? I mean, what do you think? I think she's a federal spy. <laughs> she's an alien, dude. She's a spy, man, I'm telling you. Now let me get something straight. You see this large-framed African-American guy walking in the middle of the street, in the middle of the day, seemingly with no direction in mind. And you automatically assume that he's up to no good. And you approach him aggressively. So you think she's a spy, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think. I know. Yeah, and I don't think you know either. Right? With the intention to do what? Huh? Attack him, take him down with your attitude? Is that what it was? Yep. Okay, all right. Listen, you stay here. I'll be right back. Something inside me told me she ain't right. She needed a little instruction. Well, what is it? It's this. You won't believe what I just heard. Yeah, same here. She ain't right. Listen, uh, I want to talk to you about something else other than what's going on over here. Let me guess. Lou? How'd you know? Well, you know, I am a detective. Very funny. Yeah, he, uh, he wants me to help him. Well, then help him. It's what we do. Yeah, I, I can't. He's weird. Oh, aren't we all? One big, happy family. Special task force or whatever. If you knew something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard all that before. The whole ego pitch in your report. Some kind of bionic LL Cool J or something. Look, first of all, never, never throw anything at me. And second of all, take it and get out of here. Because I don't need you. And third of all, I don't need any liabilities like you. Which one, big boy? The cutting down some preacher guy with a vengeance? Look, get out of here now. Sorry, man. I got orders. I'm here to stay. You can't fire me, and you can't relieve me of duty. Suit yourself. This unit's not easy. I can't hold your hand. 
What's this? This is what it's going to feel like out there on the streets when you're hunting those criminals. And you're hunting. But when you're out there off the street after a long 18-hour day. No, but when I you're can't. undercover for six months deep, can you handle that? Yeah, I can handle that. Listen, Poppy, I grew up in L.A. This is playground compared to where I come from. You think this is a joke? You think you can scare me? You think you can intimidate women? Huh? You think you're big and bad enough to touch me? Sweetheart, the next time you touch me, you better be after dinner. Just walking into my apartment door trying to kiss me good night. Where's my locker? and laid out your steps that everything you walk through in life is doing nothing but building glory. You're getting more authority by your adversity. You're growing in rank by your adversity. You're getting to the place when you speak it carries more weight because of your adversity. You can't be set in and set apart at the same time. And some of you want to be in with somebody so bad, you don't understand that you've already been set apart. And unless you come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, you will never do the things you have been set apart to do. I am so sick of trying to get people to love me that God don't even care if they love me. I'm so tired of trying to be in groups and God never wanted me to be in that. I'm preaching to somebody. I'm so tired of trying to fit in when God said, I'm trying to get you to fit out. Oh, I'm... I, you can't be like it and change it. you got to be different from it to change it. I made you salt, and I'm going to sprinkle you on it, and you're going to be salty enough and set apart enough to change it when I put you on it. Is anybody in this building know what I'm talking about? Ah, for me, altering my identity and altering what's in me and altering my gifts and my anointing just so I can walk around with you and ride in your car and just so I can eat at your house, the devil is a lie. It don't matter if me and you ever hook up or not, but I am going to walk in the set apartness that God called me to walk in. And there'll be days I have a friend, Shekatobasa, and there'll be days I don't. And there'll be days people come in, and there'll be days they walk out. But God will be with me the whole time, and he will be my friend that sticks closer than a brother. something or rather can he help you because I don't do confessions um, yeah, I don't know well that's one thing you have to start with the right question right um, listen pastor I mean don't this no disrespect I just came here to to what rest think ponder you can do all of that it's your father's house but I sense there's something else going on with you. Well, if there isn't, I, I, I wouldn't know. A trend I've been hearing lately. It's just that I'm not really sure if I understand the people like I ought to. Okay. The way Jesus did. I mean, he understood people. Jesus was an exceptional man, the Son of God. You're comparing yourself to Jesus? No, I would never. Pastor, please, I... It's just that I don't get it. When people do foolish, horrible things like lying, stealing, or killing, you know, breaking the law, not to mention breaking God's law. I just don't get it. That's because you're not supposed to. These action goes against God's word. <laughs> it's 
no wonder you don't get it. Pastor, I'm a cop, a civil servant, mm -hmm. to serve and protect the people around me. People I don't understand. Where do I go from there? Let me sit down here for a second. Listen, Jesus came to serve and not be served. His people did things that were stiff-necked and defiant. Get over it. Get over it. So you're saying that people will get what's coming to them? Absolutely. Well, that's one way to look at it. Yeah. It's what happens when you don't listen and don't follow the rules. Right, rules. Always rules. That's life, brother. Don't I know it? So how do you get away with it? Get away with what? I don't get away with nothing. If anything at all, I'm judged on a higher standard. What do you mean by higher standard? Come on, you know. The shepherd, the flock, spreading the gospel and all that. See what I'm saying? I think so. Well, I guess there's a lot of people who got the wrong idea about being Christians. That, my friend, is another story altogether. Look, I gotta finish cleaning up in a little carpentry work. I want you to be encouraged. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. special. All the knights in shining armor proceed from me in a cavalcade of spectacle. The more I change, the more I stay the same. Toward the sun I am born, I give myself to thee. My life is yours to do with what you will. I give my life to you because I am yours. I remember this place in my mind or some place like this. I remember a troubled time, full of angst. A time of confusion. A time without God. It's so hot. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. are going to be relieved of duty soon. I need you guys to step up to the plate and work with them. Relieved? We were told to report to him the Regley's just this morning. What happened? I can't talk about that right now. But what I can tell you is that things are not what they seem around here. You need to watch your back. Ever been to jail? Cousin Vinny up in Rikers. Other than that, no. Rikers. Your cousin Vinny. Really? Yes. Vincent, actually. You got a problem with that? No. Not really. I was only asking because I just got out of jail recently. Wait a minute, you? Mr. Alter Boy himself. Seriously? I wasn't arrested or charged or anything. Okay. I was um Visiting an inmate in Holmesburg. Holmesburg? Yeah, a place you do not want to be. No, I do not want to be there. What was the visit for? I'm not sure. I just told you I can't talk about that right now. And yes, I am your boss. Do you have a problem with that? Yeah, actually I do. I'm not accustomed to all the secrecy and espionage revolving one man. He's right. We are thrown into a position that's full of lies, and we don't know which way to turn. That is of no concern to you. Just, just follow my orders. Yeah, right. Just follow. Orders. That's right. Follow my orders. 
Right, I don't even know you. Oh, really? Do you want to know me? I mean, do you really want to know me, pal? Listen, I'm new here. I don't want to cause problems, but I'm not afraid of dealing with them either. But this whole thing isn't right. All right, All right. hey, knock it off. This whole thing here doesn't make any sense. It's not about making sense. It's about protocol and following orders. Okay, so what are the orders? Lieutenant Lanier was relieved of duties because of a regrettable decision that he made regarding civilian transport that he placed a kill order. Now wait, this is not how I heard it happen, okay? You're just leaving out a few facts. Oh, really? And what facts are those? Well, the fact is that he was under highly classified government orders. The fact is he protected this city of Philadelphia from terrorist threats. The fact is that he was a highly decorated military officer. Now I need to show some respect here. Government sanctioned military aircraft? Anything else? <laughs> well, it sounds like you have all the answers, huh? I already know all of this. But what it sounds to me, it's like you're challenging my authority. Do you really want to take it there? Nobody's taking it anywhere. We all need to calm down. And give it to us straight. What is that what's going on? Just report to me in the morning. What? You're not sure? I went there to get some information on the death of my friend. And I learned that all was not what it seemed. That seems to be the ongoing trend, doesn't it? Doesn't seem like what things what things are. Yeah. No. You're a detective, though, aren't you? Figure it out. Oh, I intend to. With your help. No, I am not doing this. All right, I'm not. There's too much going on right now. All right. Let me talk to Evans, all right? I'm on some vigilante death hunt right now. I, I can't. Hey. Thank you, Sarah. Why are you off and recommended me yet? Hey, wait a minute. What? We're a team, right? Yes, we're a team. Yeah, teams stick together. Yeah, they stick Yeah, Cal showed me that. You can't go through life alone trying to do everything by yourself. Look, I trust him. And he trusts you. Not for the mushy stuff, okay? What is this, Thelma and Louise? Seriously. Let me talk to Evans, all right? And you know what? I'm sick of talking to people. What am I, Oprah now? Like, all right, I'll, let me think about it, okay? FBI Caputo lady or whatever her name is. Real piece of work. And that guy you told to shut up, I think he had it in for you. Yeah. Me and Wes bit creepy. Well, isn't this quite a group? Man, how about that? Looking for Lieutenant Lanier? I'm Lieutenant Lanier. How can I help you? I'm Detective Kyle Evans. I loved your message. There's something we need to talk about. Looks like we got trouble coming. What makes you say that? You see that guy right there? He was a partner, Devin Blue. The missing cop we were tracking? What does he want with us? Apparently a lot, since he's here. Well, this is my team. You can speak in front of them. I need help. I need a team. I need a group of people that I could trust and count on. Why us? Do we look like a bunch of mercenaries to you? Actually, yes. We heard a lot about you people from a source. They say you're quite good at what you do. I personally have yet to be convinced. Who's your source? Can't say. All I can say is that I need help to catch a lunatic. Got something else to tell you. 
What? ADA Leslie Montgomery just resigned. What? Get out of town. You mean that hotshot big mouth who's chasing blue? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just supped and quit. No notice, no reason, nothing. Just gave a resignation out of the blue. No pun intended. Wow, geez, so how long ago was this? Uh, it was about an hour ago. Wow, so what happens next? Well, it means that blue is off the hook as far as the DA's office is concerned, but... But what, as far as the DA's office is concerned, what about anything else? I have my theories. Well, do you want to share them or not? I met Montgomery once. Not a very pleasant person. I approached her in reference to the Devil Blue case she was on. And she exploded on me. Some real guilt issues surfaced and so it didn't get long after that. She had something else going on. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Huh. You mean like our boys up there in the ivory tower we just came from? So now we're lost and found? Get out of here. So what leads do you have? Just one. It's internal. <laughs> internal? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> hey, you guys know something you're not telling? I think our boys here hold them back. It means the DA office is involved somehow, and it's not the type of involvement that's in our favor. You see, there's something real funky going on in this city's police department. Somebody's real scared of somebody. A lot of lying, a lot of cover-ups, and it all seems to be pointed at one man's faith? Religious belief? Come on, guys, what the- Let Young lady. Detective Boyd, right? Listen, your attitude is obtuse here. Your accusations are unsubstantiated and your focus is unclear. Ho, ho ho. My partner here speaks the truth. Like I said, we need to tread lightly here, given the sensitive nature of the events that just transpired recently. You don't like that, Detective? I suggest you write a letter. There's a cover-up going on, mm -hmm. and we need a whisper about this. I need to get to the bottom of this. I need a team. Bottom line, I can't explain that many details. So we would be going in blind? Correct. Under the radar? Yes. Covert? Uh, yeah. Black load. I like her. Yeah, exactly. Here's what I think. I think these chumps are involved deeper than they appear to be. That Lanier guy's dirty and that FBI Caputo lady, she's a black widow. They know more than they're saying, Cal, and I want to punch her right in the mouth. All right, no mouth punching right now. Did you know Lanyard did a tour in Vietnam? He was a POW, too. We need a plan of action. I got that, but something tells me you already have one. Okay. I'll fill you in on a series of events that you may or may not know about. And let me add, this is quickly becoming an issue of national security. There is no room for error. One thing, what did Detective Blue do to provoke this upon himself? As far as I know, he was a biteable cop. What's going on? I don't know, but I tend to find out. Oh, and if you tell me to shut up again, you better not have that stick in your hand. You know, those guys are leaving something out. Know that, right? Yep. Huh. Relevance? There might be a motive. Motive for what? Murder? Uh, but we'll just play this through with the teamwork task force still. With any luck, we'll catch the guy, find out what dirt they're covering up. Oh, I like that idea. Boy, let me tell you, down south we would have had this case wrapped up and hung by now. All right. All these boys are lying right, and scheming. Up. Hold up. Two words I'm really not feeling right now. It's hung and boy. You're making me nervous, boy. Oh, come on, Calvin. You know what I mean like that. Hey, where's that drink you bought me? Thought you had one already. Hey, I'm still growing. Really? Being bigger, you think? What? None.
911. What is your emergency? 911. What is your emergency? Hello? 911. Hello? Hello? There are two people lying on the ground. They're not moving. They look dead. Okay, sir. Come on down. Where are you? I'm in South Philly. Where is South Philly? I don't know. I don't know. Under a bridge. What bridge is it, sir? Ben Franklin? Walt it's big. It's a big old bridge. Can you hurry? It looks really serious. Sir, I need to know where you are. Are you hurt? Do you see any street signs? No. No, I'm not hurt. But yeah, I see a sign that says um, uh, 25th Street, 25th and Main. Okay, sir. You're sitting in the aerial support team now. Stay where you are. Okay, okay. You're coming now, right? Yes. The ambulance and aerial support is on the way. Try to remain calm. Help is on the way. What's all this? Two dead bodies. Brilliant. I can see that. How did it happen? Well, it was apparently execution style murder. Bodies were found here this morning at 5 a.m. are cops. Didn't it seem important to mention that to me? Yeah, well, you were, uh, incapacitated. Finish your coffee, go get me the guy that found these two. Did you know that Albert Einstein did believe in a personal God? Einstein realized that the equations led to the conclusion that the universe had a beginning. He didn't like the idea of a beginning. Because he thought one would have to conclude that the universe was created by God. So he added a cosmological constant to the equation to attempt to eliminate the beginning. He said it was one of the worst mistakes of his life. Of course, the results of Edwin Hubble confirmed that the universe was expanding and had a beginning at some point in the past. So Einstein he became a deist, a believer in an impersonal creator God. Crazy, huh? Einstein didn't seem to realize that one could not choose between good and bad if bad did not exist. It's amazing that such a brilliant man I could not understand such a simple, logical principle.
You seem interested in all this. Speaking of bad, Devin Blue is a bad man. His past, his present, his future are all bad. I'm the one who'll stop his reign of destruction. I'm gonna put an end to his self-righteous vendetta. I will. McCormick should have him by now. I can't stretch this out much longer. These cops are smart. Though you wouldn't know by looking at them. I have him. McCormick is out of the picture. I have him. Right where I want him. Oh, look who it is. Captain America. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> nice bike. Is that department issue? What exactly about all this is a party? Hmm. Not a cool way of looking at this. Heard it over the radio, I was in the area. Yeah. Two of our own. Meaning the department. Got it in the back of their heads. God, what a mess. You know, it ruined their suits, too. God's got nothing to do with this. Okay? Any details? Nothing, really. Just the guy that found them. The lieutenant, he's not coming down here. It's a little bit of a situation that they're handling right now. This is Onyx and McMichaels. They were working the Jimmy Fist case a little while ago. The case got pretty hot. Yeah, it was so hot that it was untouchable. The commissioner said hands off. He's been saying that a lot lately. Yeah. Oh, just like with that Devin Blue case, nobody could touch that either. I wonder why. I don't know. You got me there. They're still trying to put it all together. You know what? That is a really nice. <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> Just one. You okay? Just one more. You want to unlock off the bike for a second? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Step out of it, man. We got work to do. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So you want to tell me what all this is about? Yeah, Ox was a hothead and so was his partner. Nah, they both no, 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 no. Not about that. I mean your boy Blue over there. He okay now? Yeah, just as good as any of us. Just as good as me or you. Well, that's saying a lot. <laughs> so he's lead investigator now. Yes, on well, my recommendation. He passed the psych evaluation, gave good information to the case. Is there a problem here? No, it's no problem here. See how things are done here in Philly. And you'll stretch it as long as I say. Watch how you talk to me. And what do you mean out of the picture? He's gone. Detective Olive McCormick is dead, get it? Blue so much? Because it's the natural order when you've been cast out. I'll notify you when Blue is completely eliminated. Get back to work. I gotta go, all right? Something tells me I should get back. They may need me there. Can you handle this? Yeah, yeah, I got you it. You handle it good. Here. Got it. All right. So, uh, what's up with this guy, Blue? <laughs> Some mystery to me. Great. More mysteries. Just what I need. You and me both. <sighs> Let's get back to work.
know, there's absolutely nothing you can say to me that these people who live in neighborhoods like this want to hear. Well, I can't tell. All I see is waste of lives, a waste of resources. I don't know how they live like this, do you? Do you live like this? Hmm. That's a multi-layered question. But I'll do my best to answer you. You see, Ricky, there are many people in God's creation that don't have the resources to live in condos and mansions. They struggle every day to make ends meet and feed their kids. What? Feed their kids? Yeah. Get a job. Find some work. Stop freeloading off for everyone else. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Really? How long have you been around, man? People are dying. And if they aren't dying, they struggle. I know. I see it every Sunday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I see it too. I see drug deals selling the kids, preachers stealing from the church, criminals struggling to find people to rip off, 12, 13 year old kids beating up people on the subway, laughing about it, and then they're going to post it on the internet. You know what? You might be right. But that still doesn't negate the fact that there are good people out there who deserve better. Deserve another chance. A chance with God. So, um, you ever try to tell a drug dealer about God? In fact, yes I have. <laughs> well, I haven't. And I don't plan to start. All I want to do is live as comfortable as I can and do what I want. I want my kids to be safe. My kids! Really? Sounds a little selfish to me. Hey, call it what you want. I look out for me. You got that? So let me ask you this. How's that working out for you? I heard a little something about you working some kind of task force somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. Okay. Look, man. You better be careful. Not everybody that smiles in your face is your friend. Yeah. I get that. You know, it's funny. These children, right here in this neighborhood, are very vulnerable. So why are children being attacked and chosen by evil? Ricky, it's simple. It's because they are our future. Children are our future. And if you control the children, you control the future. And if you control the future, you have the power to manipulate. <laughs> yeah. Power. That's important to you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Always has been. You know, you remind me of an old friend I saw recently. Oh, yeah? Who? It's not that important. Listen, this city needs control. I mean, look around you. The ghetto. You can't pay me to come back here. Disgusting garbage. I'm gonna make the city right. Be careful, my friend. Don't let that mess go to your head. this i'm out i'm leaving you got this all to yourself <laughs> okay wait all right what's going on you just got here yeah well big bad caputo dropped the hammer on me she wants me out it's because i'm onto something and she knows it you know this is crazy i'm going to the commissioner hey don't do that any chance you have of breaking this mess is on your own don't mess it all up by opening your big mouth big mouth yeah big mouth i'm telling you Gotta be careful or it's all gonna blow up in your face. Yeah, I, I need you here, boy. First Bethlehem, then Altamari, now you. It's 
because you're onto something deep and it's gonna come out fast. So be ready for it. They're picking them off one by one. Not them, just one. You know, I don't believe that. There's gotta be more than one involved and we know that. One thing, don't back down or punk out. These guys are playing hardball, so you gotta get your buddy Blue battle ready. I was just getting, beginning to get used to that southern accent of yours. <laughs> oh, I got a plan, boy. Just you wait and see. This old girl's gonna surprise everybody. Somehow, I really believe that. Okay. You take care, Calvin. I want your back. I will. Trust me. They say I'm a blue angel and hero in one. But it's not over till the father says it's done. It's my role to protect and serve. But first, I have to wash in the water of the word. Daily at battle, caught up in this grind. To safeguard my family and friends. To defend what's mine. In this unspeakable world of lawlessness and crime. Abba, give me insight to fight the good fight. To be a defender to the innocent and meek. And guard those who are weak. To catch evil before it starts. To bring justice to the wicked and their evil hearts. To bond with colleagues like family. And work as an army of one. Help me not be so hard on everybody when the day is over and done. So I lay it all down at your feet so I can be the strong woman that you called me to be. Where do I go from here? past still haunts me. Where do I go from here? I'm a child of God, but I, as many as received him to them he gave the right to become the children of God, even to those who believe in his name. Where do I go from here? Help me find direction. find peace. Yeah, we have our other surveillance. We know all her locations. It's only a matter of time before we have her. Everything ready? Yeah. All we gotta do is release it. 